Okay, so we're back in Terraria, and you may notice things are a little different. I've just done a bit of off-camera work building this little thing. It's not much, it's just a small arena for potential boss fights in the future. And I've built this little compound for over here. Well, apartment ones, it's three buildings. And a little start to a storage room. Here you can name chests, very useful. Oops, that is a common problem when I accidentally pulled the torch off the floor. And so if I have to either have a chest for or just can't figure out where they go for now, I've thrown it here. Anywho. I also got a new NPC while I was off camera. This guy. Background Raphael. He's a painter. And he sells paint and stuff to put it on. As well as a few background walls, which are kinda cool. But we should probably think of something to do with this episode. We might just want to go back in the, into the caves, and by that I mean we might want to bomb a hole in the ground. Because we'll need to go down to the depths at some point anyway. So let's quickly make a start. Just so I don't blow up part of the ground above. And then let's go to our good old friend the demolitionist. Also, this uh, PE bank is new. And let's buy some ex high octane explosives. And we can blow ourselves up, so we do need to be careful about that. It's usually safe to put like five or so bombs. So yeah, we'll need a big tunnel going down to the centre of the earth later anyway, so... Why not get started on it now? So yeah, I'll do this for a while until we hit a cave, and then I'll go back and get some supplies for... Actually Splunky, because I just realised I forgot to pick any up. Which is smart on my decision. Smart on my decision, that's a good, good use of English. Oh, there's a crimson hole down there. Should we investigate that? This does look like it's opening up potentially. This does potentially look like it could go somewhere. I'm not sure. Is that a... No. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's go get some torches. It's thanks to the one of the accessories I got in the failed episode 2, I believe. We can Mega Man exit up one wall, though not very efficiently. How am I going to get back up there? Hmm. I didn't think of this. There we go. So let's wind this hole a little bit as well. Just to mob match what I've done with the bombs down there. Like I'll fill that out, so I'll, I'll smooth that out later on. So yeah, this chest here is for ores and minerals. Which is a good chest to have, because it means, with the way I've got it, I can use I can smelt them into bars at the furnace and then actually make something in the anvil all the same without moving from this spot. So we can make a fishing pole now, but I'm gonna wait. Let's make some tungsten. See if anything we can make with them. Not particularly. Well, we don't really need any armor or anything because we got a meteor armor. Move this off the bar so that it'll actually quick stack them. Can I just quick stack blocks to here? No, okay. I guess I could reach that from here. Now the quick stack range is deceptively long. Uh, what do we want? We want some lights. I don't have any torches. Enemy drops. How convenient. And yeah, you can actually craft out chests in this game. Which is very useful. Put the jail back where it belongs. Uh, let's have some dirt on me just in case. Let's take about 100. No, you won't. That'll do. What about these two guys playing rock versus? I do like that with the NPCs, they will interact with each other. Or they sometimes just sit on a chair and do nothing. So as you're probably very well aware, we can still take fall damage, so we do want to be aware of that. Do we need any of this off for anything? At this point in the game? I think at this point it's really just a matter of get more health and then fight bosses. So those completely missed their mark. I think I need the gold, but I want it anyway. That did just reveal something below. So yeah, let's continue bombing down, or at least bombing this stuff out and trying to move to the left. I want to see if there's anything beneath this crimson altar. 
Or if it's just a hole in the ground. It looks like it's just a hole in the ground. God damn it. No, no, they potentially go somewhere. So you're putting torches behind me, shouldn't I? Light the way. I do hear zombies. Does that go anywhere? I think there's potential. Let's throw a bomb down there this time rather than uh rather than do what I did in uh episode two and get myself trapped in the wall with no way out. You know, I'm actually just gonna continue continue bombing the hole in the ground that I uh started. So I'll go back up there and I'll bring the footage back if there's anything we find. Where are my bombs? There they are. Does this go anywhere? Oh, this, this world's caves are a complete bust. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. They always start off looking like there's gonna be something and then there's nothing. Oh, how about hell here? Oh, there's a rail. Let's ride that. Let's hold a torch as well so I can see what I'm doing. These usually lead to some good things. Usually, though, we are pretty high up right now. You can go faster this time, just taking it slowly to try and look for things. And yeah, cobwebs still block you on rails, which is irritating. Did I just see some above us? You had it? I think, did I? Right for sure. Yep, that's wood. So there's a little building here. Looks like we're just on the edge of the underground desert as well. So what's what have we got? Uh just some more of some more things that are similar to these. Although they are precise, so we're actually gonna switch these out. But you will take the rest of this stuff. Well, let's also take the statue. You know, let's also take the back wall as well. Let's just take everything. Let's take everything that isn't nailed down. Yeah, I think you can craft this wall, but it's a little bit fidgety to do so. So it's just easier to dig it up. Yoink. Should we put this to the desert? Well, it's just a wall in the way, so let's continue. We only went left on the rails, so let's go right. Leave a bit of light in our way. Ooh, hello. Well, the, the rail ends here, but there's a sunken building. With a magic mirror, that is excellent. That is a really good item. Because it, it just allows us to return home at will. So it's essentially a, a recall potion in, the, in our pocket. However, there is actually a slight downside to it when compared to the recall potions. It's a very minor one, but it has a bit of startup lag. This is deep, and I cannot see where I'm going. Uh, I don't have any glow sticks, but I do have bombs, so let's drain this water a little bit. Just so we can get a breath in two, we can see what the hell we're doing. See what we get. If anything. Well, this hasn't been a total bust. I think I just saw something through the wall there. Is it going anywhere? Oh, it's available. Nope, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Ooh, this is a nice pair of emeralds. These are no, these are diamonds. Wow. Okay then. Don't mind if I do. I would like to get those. I think there's enough there for what I want. Uh, Eleven. Nah, I think it needs like. Was that an enchanted sword shrine? Well, if it was, it was a fake. Hey, I'm out of bombs. Huh. I thought I had more than that. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Let's actually toss the gloss again, so I see what I'm doing. This is look 
in semi promising. This actually looks like there's actually an open expanse here. Ooh, hello, Dart Trap. So yeah, just like the boulders that have been crushing me a bit uh, every so often. These get to a pressure bullet, which is just there, and they fire a dart at you. So we can't actually take the, the wire yet, but we'll be able to do that later. These more diamonds, then they're sapphires. Case in point, ow. And they, yeah, they have a habit of poisoning you. Let's pick up the pressure plate and pick up the dart trap, because they could be useful for things later on. We just need the uh, supplies to be able to actually use it to them. Ooh, hello. This is a nice place to, to land. So these, these areas, yeah, we, we're going to want these uh, blue mushrooms, these glowing mushrooms, and then we're actually going to want some of the grass, as we just got there, because then you can get some good stuff from the uh, glowing mushrooms, and much so in the game is an NPC that needs a surface one of these biomes to spawn, so we'll need to build one of those at some point. But this one was pretty small. Ah! Suck it, Boulder! The meteor armor will allow me to survive. Ooh, a band of regeneration. That's a, another nice accessory. Slowly regenerates life, and because it's hasty, we increase uh, speed. Goodbye, Shackle. So yeah, we lose one defense, but hey, that's a very minor. The thing that we just have massively increased uh, our regen. Let's also steal this wall. Let's try to see where that guy in that water pit came from, just down here. These two granite guys. Because they only spawn their granite in that cave, so we should probably try and find that. But first, I want this wall. My inventory is getting full, we may have to return soon. Let's actually use one of those healing potions. And yeah, you can't pick up natural dirt and stuff, but you can pick up uh, these plank walls. Presumably because, well, technically they aren't natural. I just say that whatever old architect built these buildings was very plain. It's the same design every time. Well, let's also take this loom. And our inventory is full. Should we head back or should we continue to look around down here? Let's look around for a bit. Try to delve underneath this uh, mushroom biome. We'll either drown or we'll find something. Oh, well, there's the granite cave. Do I have another glow stick? I do. Let's toss that up. And miss my target completely. So we're gonna pretty much flood this granite cave, but I honestly don't care. These usually have some things in them. Or it could just be a dead end. No, there is stuff here. Let them all no, there's a mother slime. Okay, mother slimes. They're actually not a too too worrying an enemy. But once they kill once you kill them, they split into three small slimes. Or they can just phase through the wall, that works too. That was interesting. This is awfully small for a granite cave, is it just is a bit the bulk of it down here? Yeah, it looks like it. So I need I need to start lighting places up because I'm I'm lying too much on the enchanted sword, and that's gonna come back to bite me later. Okay, but we are getting towards the lava, which can be a bit of a problem. Like as you saw it's turned into obsidian from the water pouring onto it. But it's still pretty dangerous. See what, see what the granite house has to offer us. Uh, nothing too impressive. Ooh, hello, golem. Well, you're an elemental, not a golem. Uh, it'd be nice to have them this stuff there. So let's just toss all these bombs down here. Just create a nice hole in the ground. Uh, what do we not need? Well, we can stack these torches together. That gives us one extra spot. We can put some of this stuff into these uh, vanity slots. So we can't put that one in because I already have one of those. Fleeting. Precise. Uh, I want more speed, honestly. This is the over critical strike chance. Is there anything else I can throw out to hold the. Uh... Just chug the wall walking potion. 
There we go. I should really head back to the surface at this point. Huh. How random. Considering my ability to actually do stuff down here is starting to run very low. But I want to keep exploring. This is where a lot of adventure is coming back to bite me in the ass. Again, I'm not lighting things for some reason. I just... Ah, nice try, again. See, I, I caught your trap this time. Ooh! Don't mind if I do. Yeah, when you break pots, some pots, there's a chance of them being a money portal and giving you that much gold. Well, it's not specifically 15 gold, it's a lot of gold, though. We should really want, we really want to get out of here to bank this money. If I die, I'm going to lose quite a bit of it. Shall we play it safe? How, how far down am I? Yeah, you know what, let's play it safe. Where's the money now? Let's get out of here. Well, let's just fill this hole in quickly. Oh, let's put a platform over the top of it. There we go. Okay, we can run through with quick stack. Let's put these diamonds in here. Do we have the supplies to move it one hour one then? No, I don't. Shame. Okay, let's quick stack what we can up here. Uh, wiring, wiring, these pressure plates go in there. Floor, the mushrooms go in there, that's quite good seeds. Wood, these go in here. Uh, the dark plates go in the wiring. So yeah, this does become a thing with Terraria. Inventory management kind of becomes a very major part of things. And I just pick up the torch again. Uh, stone goes back in here. What's that? Quick stack. Oh, this is my hot bar. Uh, do we have anything else we could do with these? This isn't functional. Like, we can't do anything with these, with that statue. Which is why I'm not putting it in here. Uh, throwing weapons. Which is this one. Yeah, the rest can just go in the, uh, in the craft chest and drag it all away. Right, so then we can take stock of what we've done. And decide what our next move will be. The sapphires belong in the ore and minerals chest down here. We can decide what we really want to do. Well, I think what I need to start doing is I need to do caving off camera, find some life crystals to progress, and then we can take a boss on. How many lenses do I have? I think I only have like uh, two of them. Because I need six in order to do what I want to do. Lenses, lenses, there are any drops. Yeah, I only have two of them. The black lens doesn't count. I'm surprised I haven't found what I'm looking for down there yet. Slightly annoying. But I'll probably do caving off camera, and by the time the next episode rolls around, I'll have at least 200 health, I'd say. And then we can start getting some events to trigger in and other stuff like that. I really do need ways to end these episodes. Like, I just trail off and then just fade to black. Like, sir, so, 